Father, we ask you to come and dwell in this place. Bring your holy presence. We desire to be a holy people, God. We are your holy people. Establish a deep well of wealth in you alone. Mm. Of knowledge in you alone. Wisdom in you alone. Mm. No earthly thing can suffice. No measure will ever amount to enough. Mm. Our regards to you, people. On this earth, your their sac- the sacrifices have been unworthy. They were like the sons who came with the sacrifice. Um, I believe they they brought meat that was not appropriate or something like that. Was it Eli's son? I don't know who, who it was, but they came and they offered this meat or this sacrifice that was unworthy and meant nothing. And there's a people that are guilty of this. They have fallen short Or they have incurred judgment upon themselves due to a lack of repentance and a soul filled with earthly desire. Masked with godly works. Their words said holy, 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 but their actions did not. They they had customs that portrayed innocence and uh, instead brought folly upon your holy places. Father, you're asking for a clean, clean place. A place to be cleansed, Father. Mm. For your people to come. Mm. And call upon your name in a clean, white as snow, holy ground, holy place, Lord. Mm. Sweeping away the, the threshing floors of all that was left from days of old to even now. Lord, you want a clean place. To bring your presence down. It is within your will and within our grasp to be in this holy place. Your mercy is allowing your presence. Father, may we come with clean hearts. May we come purified, Father, by your blood. May we lay down our life for you. In your terms, in your in your ways, Lord. You have a specific way, Lord, that you are about, that we must be about. We have to be a people after your way, Father.
he's just readying a people that uh, that are going to see his the deep foundations of his nature. I just hear him saying his nature, the nature of God, the character of God, the the purpose of God, the body of God, the understanding of God. There's just a a way that he wants to reveal. Thank you, Lord. Uh, prepare the way, prepare the way for for this with the cleansing. Ready, people. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I just want to pray over your people here now. I just pray that you bring a peace and a willing heart and a, a readiness. I think it's called like girding your loins where you pick up your. Lord, I pray that they are ready to do a good work. Their hearts are open and willing and ready, God. But they're positioned in a way. That a saint is to be positioned in hell. On their knees, ears open, as you reveal your word, as you begin to sanction authority, as you begin your purpose in a new light out of the shadows, God, of darkness. When the shadow is removed, Lord, your glory is revealed. You will speak. You will do a good work here. And when you speak, they must say yes, Lord. And when you say go, they must go. You're perfecting something here. There's a perfecting. And there must be ears to hear in the perfecting. A solid foundation for a building. This is a building place, Lord. You are building kingdom property. Nothing is supposed to be cut off here. There's not supposed to be any boundaries on on what you do here that are not um, meaning things to be withheld. There's not supposed to be any boundaries on your will and what you're doing here. Meaning that, meaning that you can go as far and as wide as, as you are being led in the Lord. Let no man put boundaries on what you, Lord, said there are none. Whatever 
whatever it is, Father, that you are saying to them to build here. Father, let it be done. There's a solid and firm foundation here. So there must be a readiness to build. Start building. Very, very strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Father, I pray just a building of righteousness, Lord, a, a, a building of grace and of um, mercy, Lord, but just uh, establish your dwelling place here. You're establishing your dwelling place, Father. There is an inner working, there's an inner working of man here that's to be done and building. And there's an outer working that needs to be done. A drawing of people in because of your presence. Um, like uh, your holy of holies. It's likened to that. It's likened to the Holy of Holies. Uh, his physical presence dwelling among you. His physical presence dwelling among the people of this place. It is very, very clear that that is what is here and taking place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And in, in that presence, it's meant to draw people to himself. He will draw people to himself. He does the work. He will draw the people to himself and he will use this body of believers to do so. Thank you, Lord. There is, it is no small task and that is an understanding. And, and as you are building these, these pillars, they are pillars, Lord, with pillars of strength. <laughs> no man gets to tear down. No man can tear it down. Nobody, nobody can touch it. <laughs> What what man wants to come against, there's nothing that can there's nothing that can come against it. It's built in the strength of the Lord, presence of the Lord, and the victory of the Lord, and the say so of the Lord. His word said it. So that's why it's done. <laughs> Well, the Lord has said, no man can tear down. It just can't. And, and what he is saying here, what he's establishing here, and, and the strengths and the, and the columns that are built in this building that he's talking about, they just cannot be tossed here and there and, you know, back and forth. It just can't be because of the Lord said it. His word. His word. So, so no, nothing can shake that. That is clear. Foundation is in. Columns are up. Structure is being built. The structure is being built right now. That's where you're at. That's where you're at. I can see the columns up. I can see the structure. And it's not 
coming down that it can't be messed with. Thank you, Lord. Because there is a fire coming. And it's a holy fire. It's the fire of the Lord. He's coming to down. It's coming down to this place. It will be a presence of the Lord and the housing of the Lord within each person, but without as well. Thank you, Father, for the preparation of these people, Lord. Thank you for their hearts. Father, I just thank you that uh, you are willing again and again and again to offer your hand of mercy and grace to your people. That you who are willing to say, come be my body, and I will be the head. Thank you, Father, for that. And thank you, Lord, that you have clearly told these people that they are in use and of use and hearing your voice and listening to your word, Lord, that you're declaring a, I don't want to say declaration over, over this, over just you are just stating law, fact, I don't know the wording, but you are just putting into place, establishing maybe the word is. You are establishing a good thing. You are speaking foundational truth that will not be shaken more. Thank you for that, Father. God, as you are preparing each and every heart, and I mean each and every heart, from the oldest down to Isabella, there is no person left. There's no person left here that has not been touched, set apart, prepared to build this kingdom, Lord. And I thank you for that. Hallelujah, God. Continue to speak a good word. Continue to raise up a people, a holy people who worship you, who praise you daily, who give you the glory that you deserve. Father, you deserve our praise and our glory. Stop deserving. You are unmatched. Unmatched. May we know that we are on holy ground most times because you are within us and you are before us and you are around us, Lord. We are on holy ground. So let us honor you with our words and our minds and every part of this God. I just thank you. Jesus. <laughs> I share something. Yes, Even before Nicole was up praying, I heard the word foundation as well mm. and feel like this particular word, mm. uh, although for all of God's children, I think it's specifically a word for the group here. Mm. It's Ephesians 2, mm. uh, and I'll start in verse 17. Mm. It said, And he came and preached peace to you who were far off, mm. and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. Mm -hmm. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, mm -hmm. built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, mm -hmm. in whom the whole structure mm -hmm. being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. Hallelujah. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Pretty cool.